Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna have a look at the Two Wild D Light 1 18, 1800 or 1800 Smart Bike Light. It's a dual light source system. Uh, it has an intelligent mode, uh, Type C for charging, and you can charge another device. Super bright, uh, dual uh, light, focus and flow. Waterproof is uh, uh, IPX6. Uh, there's a GoPro adapter as well uh, And there's a remote control which normally is optional, but we have that one as well included um, <clears throat> As you can see the modes um, you have in um, Focus beam it goes high and low high. It's uh, 1800 lumens 600 lumens in low mode and that's how long it will last you uh, for uh, hours and a half in, in when using 60 lumens one hour and 40 minutes in uh, the when using the high mode uh, and then you have float mode float beam uh, high low and flash uh, flash is 200 lumens and you will see the flashing is going to be quite calm um, which i really like uh, it's not the rapid flash which normally uh, bothers other cyclists coming from the opposite way, way or even cars um, so this in this mode you can have it up to 18 hours uh, low 200 lumens eight, 11 hours and then high 600 lumens 3 hours and 45 minutes So let's have a look. Let's open it and see what's inside Okay, that's the flashlight. Two buttons, a warning that it will get hot, the branding and the model number. And then you have the two beams. And I think this is the flood uh, beam. That's the main one. And that's the one that uh, goes up to 2100, I think. Oh, let's just see quickly. Uh, when you press the remote, so the remote will allow you to take it up to 2100 lumens in turbo mode. Uh, that's not constant, it's while pressing the button on the remote. But so this, these are instructions as well. <coughs> you get uh, uh, to see how we will work with the GoPro mount. You can put it like this or upside down. Uh, it looks like by default it comes in. Uh, to be installed like that underneath the handlebar but you can change it you can put it in here uh, which way is best for you so we have english uh, uh, manual uh, where you can see all the details so that's for you to read uh, there is an intelligent mode as well and uh, let's crack on with the unboxing so this is the Adapter for the handlebar. I really like uh, it comes with the rubber underneath to protect the handlebar and also has a little um, um, How you call this a little bracket uh, keeps it attached to the frame so you won't uh, lose it And uh, that's how you rotate to put it in position and uh, That's how it connects so it goes like that. You see it has two brackets goes in and you rotate until it clicks and that's in place and it's not going anywhere it's rotating back take it out of that and uh, let's see what else we have so they give you this uh, Allen key for uh, changing the position of this you have a Type-C to USB-A for charging and an adapter Type-C USB to Type-C and that's the GoPro mount so goes like this let's uh, unbox the remote control as well and as you can see this is LC ALC01 Oh, let's see what's inside. So 
So you have uh, some instructions which are quite useful and you learn from these instructions that you have in order to pair this to, the, uh, to that because this could work on uh, other of their lights. So you have to be <coughs> in the um, with this turned on and you have to press and hold this button on the top for three seconds until it's, uh, it's going to become red and then you press this button in here and you will start controlling it. Uh, I think it should come paired already because it's uh, part of a deal, but let's see. Uh, so I'll put the instructions to a side. That's your uh, brackets for the handlebar. Depends how thick is the handlebar. You may find yourself using this or this other one. I think for me this one would work. <coughs> so, let's turn it on. So that's the power. And you, you can see it's flashing green, so that means it's in the manual mode, yeah? So in the manual mode, you see you have uh, the main light, which is which is down, the flood light. And then you press again, you just, uh, that's your um, low mode, and that's the high mode. Go back to flashing, and then if you press on the one on the top, you will activate the normal beam, the one on the top. And that's only medium and high. Well, I think okay, so it looks like it's just on and off. No matter in what mood you are. I have to say it's quite bright. It will definitely give you a headache if you look directly into the light. And now you have uh, the option to go into the uh, automatic mode and you press and hold this and it becomes blue. Let me lower down this light a bit. So what this uh, does is like, let's say you are cycling around um, and uh, you just stopped, you forgot to turn it off. And in two minutes uh, of being active, you will shut itself down, uh, it will close the light to save energy and prevent it from getting hot and as soon as you move um, it's gonna just uh, start again so let's try uh, and see if we get the same kind of modes yeah so that's just on and off and then you have three lights I'm, I'm a bit um, confused because it says in here in the um, <clears throat> focus beam you get high and low not sure how you put it in low because I can only see that goes high and that one I, I could see the three modes okay so in order to pair it with this uh, you have to be um, in, with this turned off and you press and hold this button on the top until it becomes red Okay, so that will work in manual mode. So let's change from this mode into the manual mode. You press and hold for three seconds. And that's it. It goes into this mode. You press this button and then you can control it. You see now I'm just controlling it from the remote. Mm, interesting now now I have uh, mid low and high on the one on the top as well so now it's always using only the flood one the flood or so the flood or uh, the one on the top so if I do this one it's like goes through medium medium and high on the float one if I move to this one then I can control high and medium ah, okay I see and there's one um, the powerful one is if you press this one uh, the flash if you press and hold it um, you will stay uh, in the high mode and then you turn it off and there you have it so um, yeah, that's how it is. 
that's the remote and this is it uh, it will charge your phone as well through here uh, I've used that light in my eyes a bit and I can't really see very well <laughs> um, so that's the type C port you can like I said you can use it to charge this I think it will take about um, four hours but let me see before I read the manual it has a nice cover for protect to protect from water uh, let's just put it back in the automatic mode and we'll just put it on the flashing again and we leave it for um, two minutes and see if it goes down so let's just uh, while it's doing that <coughs> let's just see what was uh, how fast it's charging so yeah, they say it will take about four hours uh, to charge They say it's also impact resistant. A drop will uh, will be fine for a drop for one from above 1.2 uh, meters. Uh, it will light up up to 210 meters, and it's waterproof. Like I said, nice instructions. Is there a way to remove the battery, or the, do they say what kind of battery is taking? Ah, yeah. So the, the remote will have, um, uh, you know, the big kind of uh, uh, batteries, the CR1632, the button battery. So I guess you can uh, remove that um, through the back somehow. Probably have to push in from one of the sides or maybe through here. Probably if you just force it, it will uh, open. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's been uh, already two uh, minutes. I might just pause the video and you'll see it's gonna be off and then when I move it, it's gonna turn on again. All right guys, yeah, as you can see, it stopped. So um, while it stopped, you can see the uh, lights are no longer flashing uh, because normally you can see a little bit of flash so if I take it now like let's say I'm just taking my bike for a ride again it should immediately start flashing so yeah <coughs> it's really really good I'm gonna put it back in the um, I'm gonna stop it a bit so I'm gonna take uh, this in the garden uh, just to show you um, how uh, bright it is so just bear with me a bit okay so let's see so that's the flashing that's medium that's high and then from the other side that's medium I think uh, actually no Let's just go back like this. I think it when it's flashing it doesn't take you. Yeah, so this is the other side, the, the normal straight mode. It has a medium and high. And then that's the uh, super bright mode when you press on the remote. So, yeah. And that's it. Let's just take it down to the flashing mode. So there you have it guys, it's a beast of a flashlight, <laughs> um, yeah so uh, I really really enjoyed uh, this unboxing, so the D-Lite uh, 1800, so I prefer to keep it in the manual mode and then shut it down, if I can, <laughs> yeah so it's all off, uh, thank you for watching, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment, thank you.